What's up guys and welcome back. All right, so today I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, finish up a couple more of the body mounts. Uh, in the previous episode, I told you guys that I already finished two of them um, and that I was gonna go ahead and just uh, finish off the other two. So let me show you guys what I have so far. All right guys, so this is one, this is the, um, uh, the passenger side uh body mount as you can see it already has the additional three inches uh welded up from the inside all right it's fully welded on the inside um and then what i'm gonna do is uh once i get the um once i get ready to put the body on uh this this is the top plate that goes on top so i'm gonna go ahead and just put the donut on there and then i'm gonna uh put the bolt through it um put it uh on the underside of the uh of the body pipe put like a um i don't know something to kind of hold it in there this way when i go in and set the body on there i can go ahead and just move the body uh around you know just to where it's uh squared up and then all i gotta do is just tack the bottom lift the body back up and then just finish uh fully welding the uh uh the top all right so this is one of the other mounts this is the one from the driver's side as you can see i went ahead and uh grind it up uh all the top and um, these are uh, these are the plates right here that I went ahead and cut. All these are uh, made of a uh, quarter inch steel. So let's see here, turn this around. All right. So I got the back plate right here, and these are the two side plates. They're gonna go just like so. All right. This is the other side plate, and then I got the uh, the other plate. And then once I get all those tacked in. Uh, I'll make sure that everything is squared up real nice uh, and then um, uh, tack it up and then just you know finish welding it up and then that will be uh, like I said the driver's side and then the only thing left to do is uh, take off the uh, well actually not take off but uh, make uh, a spacer for the um, uh, this is uh, the driver's side now for this one, all I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to weld it directly on here. So I'm going to make the spacer first, then come back over here and then just weld it onto the uh, onto the um, uh, the mounts. All right. So let me go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the finished product. Well, almost done. As you can see, it's fully welded in, got all the sides and the bottom welded in. All right, so this right here, uh, that's only a two and three quarter inch um, the spacing right there. The top plate adds the additional quarter, which brings us to a total of uh, three inches. So that's the third one. That's the third um, uh, body mount already done. So I got that one done that one's done and then i just finished that one on the one for this side so all i gotta do is uh i gotta work on that one tomorrow and um as for the back uh i'm thinking about just just putting you know, uh, a single uh rectangular um um square tube across and just drill some holes through there and then obviously cut the hole for the donut on top um and you know this way it'll go ahead and uh, fill in that hole that you'll see you know uh, you know whenever like you know whenever you see when humvees have a, a lift you know you'll see that you know that that big gap in the back so i don't know um that's that's what i'm thinking about but uh yeah so i'll see what i come up with and then i'll let you guys know so until tomorrow all right guys so it's the next day and uh i started uh working on the uh body mounts and I decided to go in a different direction uh, for the rear body mounts. Um, let me show you guys uh, what I what I came across here. All right, guys. So this uh, these are the uh, factory uh, rear body mounts, and as you can see, this is what uh, three sixteenths inch. Uh, yeah, that's three sixteenths. Um, and as you can see on the outside, looks fine. But if you look on the inside, look how thin that metal is. 
all that rust has been eaten away. So, um, so instead of building on those um, body mounts, I decided to just scrap those entirely and just start, uh, you know, build ones, uh, build new ones from scratch. So that's what I did. So I got them already bolted up right there. Um, they're only tacked up. I got a, a few tacks on each side, just holding everything together. Uh, the tops are not welded in yet. Um, again, I'm going to, I won't be doing that until I actually set the body on. This way I know everything is squared up. Um, and then, uh, the last one that I have to do is this one. So, uh, that actually won't be done until next week, uh, because I actually, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, so I won't be back until Monday. So there you have it guys. Yeah, it's not, not that much, uh, has gotten done, uh, since my last video, but I mean, I did get a, um, I mean, I got something done, you know? So as soon as the uh, the other motor mount's done, which I'll be sure and get that done first thing next week when I get back from vacation, um, as soon as I get that done, I'm gonna start lowering the body on there um, and then uh, tack up the um, uh, the other uh, body mounts. And then as soon as I get that done, just pull the body off real quick. I'll probably just have it hanging in the air and then uh, finish uh, welding up the um, uh, the body mounts and then sit that body back on there and. Uh, Pretty much, you know, start putting on, you know, all the front accessories and stuff like that. All right, you guys. So until next time, guys, like always, Gearhead Guy out.